good day um we are going to face our study today on family planning i am dr david olushegun awole what is family planning uh, family planning is defined as an educational comprehensive medical or social activities which enables individuals including minor to determine free I mean freely the number and spacing of children. Family planning may involve considerations of the number of children with to have, including the choice to have no children as well as the age at which to have them. So family planning is basically talks about educational, comprehensive, medical or social activities. That, is, that enables individual, including minor, to determine freely the number and the spacing of their children. So, family planning enables the individual to determine the number of children to have and the space to put between the children. We say that it's really, uh, you no, know, you no, know, family planning is into allowing you to make a choice of having children or not having children. So you may decide to get married and you may, not, you may decide not to have child, uh, children. So that is family planning. These matters are influenced by external factors such as marital situation, career considerations, financial positions, and any disabilities that may affect their ability to have children and raise them. So now, we, when we still talk about family planning, the matter of family planning could be affected by marital situation. Marital situation in the sense that you are not yet married, or maybe your husband's or you, you made up your mind that, okay, we want to get married, we don't want to have children at this social time because of certain uh, circumstances that is best known to you. Or it may be as a result of career consideration. Maybe because you are going to school, you don't want to get married. I mean, you want to, you don't want to have children yet. Or financial position. Maybe you look at your post and discover that you don't have that much now. So all these are the things that can influence, um, uh, 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 influence uh, our giving. But that will what would be what we you know eventually you know, push one or make one to uh, think of family planning. Beside the fact that it is what will help you, uh, is going to help you to be able to build up yourself financially, to know the type and uh, the numbers of, I mean, the number of uh, children to have per time. Now, if sexual active, if, if sexually active, family planning may involve the use of con uh, contraception and other techniques to control the timing of reproduction. So, if now, you know, we have different type of family planning as we, the lecture go by. We're going to talk about that. Now, here we say that uh, contraception is also uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the, uh, the means or the techniques that we can use to control, uh, to control uh, uh, giving birth or reproduction. So, let's look at contraception. There are many types of contraception widely used now, now a day for family planning purposes. Each method has its advantages and swift special cases and not necessarily swift others. And the choice of contraception depends on different needs of the, uh, of the patient like the period of contraception and also doctors will also decide which method suits or that the individual need more. No method of contraception is completely effective. There is no method that is con 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 completely effective, but we have many types, and you can decide on what or the type you want to use, uh, or your doctor can decide after they have conducted. I mean, they have uh, con con conducted series of tests for you. Let's look at the types we have. We have types of uh, family planning. We have natural contraception. I mean. Methods of contraception, we have natural contraception, we have mechanical contraception, we have hormonal contraception, we have surgical 
contraception. So we look at the characteristic of ideal contraception. No, uh, contraceptive rather ideal characteristics of ideal contraceptives. When you see an ideal contraceptive, the, what are their characteristics? Number one, ideal contraceptive will be safe. When we say safe, it means that there is no too much side effects or dangerous side effects. Number two, ideal contraceptive, uh, contraceptive must be hundred percent effective. And I think that must be 100% effective. Now, another thing is it must be free of side effects. I think contraception, contraceptive must be free of side effects. Not only that, it must be easily obtainable. It's not the type that we'll be looking about and you not get. It must be easily obtainable. Not only that, it must be affordable. It must be affordable. I think contraception, contraceptive must be affordable must be acceptable to the user so the user must also accept it and must be free of effects on future pregnancy and I think, uh, contraceptive must be free of effects on future pregnancy it means that it must not be the one that will not allow the individual patients to um, not to be able to conceive when needed they look at type of birth control types of birth control we have hormonal we have barrier we have iucd that you try you train device then we have method based on information then we have permanent sterilization so hormonal talks about drugs that are based on hormone both tablets and injectable then we have barrier methods these barrier methods talk about the methods that prevents spermatosia from getting to the woman of prevents it from getting to where fertilization will take place. Then we have the IUCD, I mean IUD, that is a uterine device. So this one is put inside the uterus uh, and, and prevent uh, pregnancy. Then we have method based on information. So this one talks about you knowing uh, your 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 uh, your menstrual cycle, and then you are able to get information when you are ovulating and when you are not ovulating then another thing is permanent sterility this permanent sterility may uh, uh, they are majorly surgical majorly surgical like your tubal ligation the physiotomy all these are uh, permanent sterilization so uh let's look at the types the pictorial aspects if you look at this picture you look at the o um, the, the the uterus uterus you see the uh intra train device iud it is a device if you look at that copper t it's going to be inserted to the uterus let's look at the copper t and the arrow that's where the uterus is now this is copper t then you move to you insert it from the sub through the service here from the vaginal refuse to the service here you insert it here insert it here you go to stay there this is the uterus the whole this is uterus and this is the O3. Now, um, look at this. This is oral contraceptive. Oral contraceptive. That is Omona. And this Omona acts on the ovaries. Omona acts on the ovary. Then we have the condom, their barrier method. This one will not allow spermatosia to get to the uh, vagina. I mean, to get to the uh, uterus. Not only that, we have. Uh, other types that have the pills, the condom, female condom, we have the injectable, depopropyra, we have the implants, we have the implants, we have diaphragm, we have copper T and all that. So these are the pictorial uh, uh, parts, type of parts control. Let's look at hormonal methods. Let's look at the hormonal methods. Hormonal methods of uh, family planning includes, hormonal method includes oral contraceptives that is the birth control pills uh you call it my baby he said it's, uh, it's my baby because it is a pill that when you use you use it every day and when you miss a pill you have to repeat it immediately you remember the following day before you use that of the day so, so it's oral contra or contraceptive then we have the injections injections as uh, the depopropyra the uh, norestrats 
one for two months in restaurant and the other one for three months they could prefer. So these are the injectable and the hormonal uh, method of family planning. Then we have the implants. The implant that is not plant type one and two. So this one is inserted into the skin. So these are Umuna method. Let's look at bad control pills. Let's look at bad control pills. Now in bad control pills, uh, this can be taken to prevent pregnancy and it is very safe. It is very effective when you take it properly. Very, very effective when you take it properly. Pills are over 99% effective. The effectiveness of the pills is over 99% and it must be taken in a circle regularly. Take it every day. Take it every day. How does the pills work? Now, let's look at the way the, the pill uh, works. The pills works. Number one, it stops ovulation. How does the pill stop ovulation? Now, this is it. This is a bad control pills. Bad control pills. It will lower, it will cause a lower level of estrogen, thereby preventing pituitary gland from. So it prevents the back control pills lower, uh, cause the lower level of uh, estrogen, and it prevents pituitary gland from releasing luteinizing hormone. It prevents it from releasing, releasing luteinizing hormone. With no neutralizing or uh, neutralizing more present, egg that is the ovum does not mature and ovulation does not take place. So that is why I mean that is what the pills will do. It's going to cause the lower level of estrogen. I mean because of the lower level of estrogen in the pill to prevent the pituitary gland from releasing the neutralizing homo and without neutralizing homo. The, the, the egg cannot go or grow into maturity and that means that ovulation will not take place. That is what um, um, the pills does. Now, not only that, it thins uterine lining. It makes sure that uterine lining, uh, become, I mean, become thinner. It makes sure that uterine lining become thinner. That is the... So once the uterine lining become thinner, it will not... Uh, it will disallow the uh, the um, ovulation to 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 I mean disallow if ovulation from taking place and will not allow fertilization to take place as well. Not only that, it thickens the cervical mucus, thickens the cervical mucus. So progesterone in pill thickens cervical mucus, blocking passage of sperm into uterus. So once it thickens the vagina. Uh, vagina uh, it goes, it takes the vagina uh, uh, mucus, then it will not allow the spermatosha to pass through uh, to where fertilization will take place. So, um, let's look at positive benefits of bad control pills. Positive benefit of bad control pills. Number one, prevent pregnancy. Prevent pregnancy. Prevent pregnancy. Number two, it is menstrual menstrual cramps it is or it is menstrual cramps so when you use bad control pills it's going to reduce the rate at which you have your menstrual cramps that's your menstrual pains that some people used to have not only that a certain period reduces the number of days for your menstrual flow not only that it can also the bad control pills can also regulate period can regulate period you have seen a patient that is having um that is not um having regular menstrual flow that um pills can be used to control uh or to regulate the uh, to regulate the period not only that decreases incidence of ovarian cysts the incidence of ovarian cysts uh has been known to have reduced in patients that uses control pills decreases incidence of ovarian cysts then it prevents ovarian and uterine cancer pills also can prevent uh, ovarian and uterine cancer not only that it decreases acne and this one talks about a kind of uh, uh, skin disease like your uh, what's the name called uh,